Hey, Snow White, are you okay? Oh, I I'm okay. You certainly don't look it. Appearances can be deceiving. What drivel dost thee spew? Shall we switch? Snow White has had to carry Marion this whole time. Thine armor is also most prodigious. I'm sure it is a most formidable weight to bear. It's no picnic, that's for sure. Let's switch then. <sighs> As I live and breathe, she is sound asleep. Passed out is more like it. Take a break, Snow White. Hmm. Do not blame thine self. You had nothing to do with her ending up this way. It's my fault. Very well. Let's say it is. Be that as it may, we will share your burden. Both emotional and physical. Hmm. Is it so difficult to comprehend? Are we not comrades? Come on, let me carry her. It may not seem like it, but I'm quite adept at carrying things. When did thou develop such prowess? Ah, I see. Thine skills must have blossomed whilst helping the others recuperate. That too, but I've also hauled my fair share of deer. A deer? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Come on, hand her over to me. <sighs> Very well. Be gentle with her. Let's see... Gather the arms... Then lift onto the shoulders like so... <gasps> Impressive. <laughs> I told you so. Let's get a move on, shall we? Her feet are being subjected to the most unusual punishment. So long as it doesn't slow down the pace, it should be fine. This is true. <sighs> are you awake? Where am I? Okay, okay, I'm putting you down. Just relax. Uh, let me go! Chill out, will you? If you keep flopping around, you'll end up touching me. I said let go! Oh, yes! <laughs> Where is the commander? I want to see the commander. You can't do that. I'm going to see him, and that's final. You can't. Commander? Commander! Where are you? Rappi! Anise! Neon! Where are you? Anybody? <laughs> Has everyone abandoned me? This isn't real! Told you, he's not here. We are the only ones here. That... That's impossible. I want to go back. I want to see the commander. Is it this way? No. I... I knew that. I was going to head in the opposite direction. If you go back now, they'll have you dissected on an operating table within an hour. I can defend myself! I'm sure you can. But you wouldn't be the only one in danger. They would kill your precious commander. <sighs> he will do whatever it takes to protect you. And as punishment for turning his back on the entire Ark, they'll kill him. <laughs> the situation truly is most unjust. A bitter pill to swallow, forsooth. 
But what of the feelings of my lord who sent you to us? He has put you in our care because he himself is powerless. Try to understand. Now is not the time to fuss. What he needs right now is time. Time to become stronger. So you must be patient. <sighs> what if he doesn't come back for me? Do you really take him for the mendacious type? No. The commander would never lie to me. There you have it. Hence why we're asking you to wait a little longer. He will come back for you. And until then, we will protect you. I promise. <sighs> <sighs> Keep walking. The road is long. <sighs> she seems to have calmed down. Praise the heavens. Had she continued to be so obstreperous, our journey would have been most trying. Should she utilize her strength fully, it would be impossible for us to stop her. If they had taught her the way of the sword, she would have been legendary. Are you tempted? If I said no, it would be a lie. I've never seen someone with such physical prowess. We all know how interested you are in physical strength. Ugh. Oh, to be a mentor watching all the physical developments of their disciples' physiques. Perhaps teaching the pleasures of the flesh to the most learned disciples. Yes, yes! Mm. Um, where are we going? A safe place. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Nowhere is safe up on the surface. So where are we going? <sighs> it's a place raptures have no interest in. That's where you'll be living. Until your Prince Charming comes back for you. Hmm. I see. How far do we have to go? At our current speed, it will take about a week on foot. What? A week? Five whole days? A week is seven days. Oh, right! I knew that! I was just testing you! I assure you that I'm well aware of how many days are in a week. You don't have to test me. What's waiting for us over there? You'll find out when you get there. Mm. Keep walking. Mm. All right. She really is pushing her hard. You're right. Um, excuse me. <sighs> hey! It's Snow White. real name? Isn't that what you were about to ask me? No. It's just that the sun is down, and... Yes, night has fallen. Hmm? Hmm? I was told I should sleep at night. By who? The commander. That's because he's human. Something which we are not. Forgoing sleep will not pose a problem for us. So, we just keep walking? Yes. If we sleep, it will take twice as long. And as you're well aware, the surface is far from accommodating. We keep moving. <sighs> All right. Snow White, we should rest a bit. I agree. No. Unless we have no other choice, we should avoid camping outside altogether. Now would be a good time for us to rest. And what made you come to that conclusion? Marion is really struggling. It's all in her head. Nikkei's do not experience fatigue. 
You know as well as I do that's not true. <sighs> we have to maintain a steady pace the entire way through. If one of us increases the pace too much, it'll be too much for the others. <gasps> if one side increases the pace, it'd be too much to handle. She would beg you to stop. She'd cry that she couldn't take it anymore. Oh yes, right there, that's it. Mm. There's a stream nearby, we should rest here. <sighs> you mustn't underestimate the value of a good rest. For hardy folks like us who wander the surface, we can disregard our physical conditions. But such a thing could be dangerous for normal Nikkeis. The strain could result in a mind switch. You of all people should know that. Marion only came up from the Ark today. <sighs> Very well. I didn't take everything into consideration. Let's take a break. Are you okay, Marion? Not really. Let's stay here and rest for a bit, okay? Okay. Hang in there. <sighs> None of you happen to have a blanket, do you? We're camping outdoors. Sorry to break it to you, but the bare ground will have to suffice. Uh. Just a moment. I'll try to find something for you to lie on. No, it's okay. I can manage. Hmm. Are you hungry? I am. I didn't ask you. Besides, you're always hungry. Are you hungry, Marion? I'm okay. <sighs> Your body is telling us otherwise. I'll chance a visit to that stream close by. If I'm lucky, I could catch a few freshwater fish. Huh? What's a fish? Would you like to see? Yes. Then follow me. You can keep me company. Hmm, these are proving tougher to catch than I anticipated. What are you doing exactly? This is a tool called a fishing rod used to catch fish in the water. Don't be silly. Fish come from the refrigerator. Uh, there are various types of fish in the world. Mm -mm. Do they taste good? Their flavor is on a whole different plane, far exceeding whatever you have had in the Ark. So when will the fish come out? Patience, my friend. Nothing gets accomplished by rushing. Hmm. Oh. Hey. Don't look so sad. But I am sad. That is how the world works. As there are happy things, so there are sad things. How can life be full of only good things? How were things when you were with your commander? <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> so those were happy days. And today is a sad day. That's all there is to it. When will the good times come back? That is up to you. Let me impart upon thee the secret to living life. Think only of the good things. Then the good times will last longer and the melancholy will quickly fade. Should thou commence thinking of only good things now and set your heart to creating good things, the sadness of today will be washed away like tears in the rain. So I should think of only the commander? That would be one way of doing it. Think about the day you will be reunited. Isn't it pretty to think so? Yes, it is. Think about that then. Let those thoughts fill you with resolve and the will to live and things will be different. 
Um, what should I call you? My name is Scarlet. Scarlet? What are the good things that you think about? Me? I think about the beauty of nature. What makes that so good? Gazing at its majesty provides a pleasure that never diminishes. Hmm... I don't think I quite understand. You don't have to. If you knew everything, what fun life would be- Oh! This is a big one! Whoa! What is that thing? It's still moving! This is what they call a fish. How does it feel to see one in person? It looks kind of funny. Well, thou art nothing if not brutally honest. Is this what we're going to eat? That's right. We can't eat it straight away, though. We'll have to cook it first. Whoa! I also... N never mind. Come here and sit. It might be hard since it's your first time. But try catching one yourself. Okay. How did you manage to catch so many? Am I dreaming? Marion caught the lion's share of them. She's a natural. Hee <laughs> Should we light a small fire? Nothing so big as to draw attention to ourselves. Scarlet can clean the fish, and I'll handle the cooking. As for me, I'll get ready to eat. Could you at least go wash your face first? You've got drool dripping down your chin. I don't mind. Why don't you set up the jammer then? On it. <sighs> you're not going to eat without me, are you? We won't take a bite until you're back, so don't worry. All right. I'm choosing to trust you. <sighs> Marion, you can lie down over there and rest. Are those blankets? Where did you get those? Turns out there was a village close by. They may not measure up to what you'd find in the Ark, but they'll be better than nothing. <sighs> Go ahead! Speed hath improved verily. <laughs> I'm glad we're at least getting better at something. It's a pity there's no salt. How are you holding up, Marion? Are you comfortable? I... I'm fine. This will take some time to cook, so you can sleep for a bit. I'll wake you up when it's done. <sighs> Get some rest. We'll protect you. fast how hard it must have been for her fate has not been kind to her it will only get worse going forward i 
heretic coming back to humanity's side. Just saying it out loud seems outrageous. She has a difficult life ahead of her. What can we do for her? We must teach her how to press on. How to endure. Even when you're alone. We have two weeks. We have to teach her everything we can during that time. Dost thou believe there will be a time when she's alone? <sighs> it is a certainty. And when that time comes, we cannot be sure which side she will choose to stand on. As long as Believer is present, things will not fall apart entirely, but there are always uncertainties. That is what I believe as well. How do you think Snow White will feel? Snow White has already started. She's teaching her in her own way. You don't need to worry about that. Very well. You haven't eaten yet, have you? Shh. Hmm. Have you eaten? No, we haven't. It still needs to cook some more. I'm sure we could eat it now and be fine. That's not the point. It simply wouldn't taste good. Again, I don't see the problem. Just hold your horses. Ah, <sighs> fine. Whoa! I've never tasted something like this before. Dost thou enjoy it? Very much. Then have mine. Really? Certainly. Take it. You can have mine as well. Okay, thanks! <sighs> what is it, Snow White? Something wrong? Uh, do I have to give her mine too? Well, we already gave her ours, so you can keep yours to yourself. Forsooth, Marion's appetite truly is most prodigious. Then again, this is her first time eating proper food from up on the surface. Tis most sensible. <coughs> oh my gosh! This is really delicious! <sighs> Take it! Oh. Uh-huh. Can I eat this, too? Yes. Thanks! <laughs> Snow White! You're not experiencing a mind switch or anything like that, are you? No! Hmm. Is it good? Really good! You're not going to eat the bones, are you? Are the bones this hard stuff? I don't think I should eat that. Good. Hmm? You could have had at least one Snow White. It's okay. <laughs> Why don't we let Marion stay with us? We are always in danger, and we don't usually move in a group like this. Today was a special case. I know, but we can take turns accompanying her. No. Marion needs a place to stay. She hasn't fully recovered mentally, and she needs something tangible to hold on to. Having a single fixed location is the best option for that. The Ark can no longer serve that function for her. She was driven away, and there is no guarantee that she'll ever be able to go back. Of course, Eden is also an option. That's not a viable option either. Dorothy is there. Hmm. I understand. You just want to take on a disciple. I... I can't deny that. It's still early. We have things to do. I know. I know very well. I got a bit greedy. Forgive me.
It's best to avoid places like this where the mud is thick. It could be a swamp. Were someone of our mass to fall into a swamp, it would be all over. What's a swamp? Think of it as a pit you can never get out of. Can't you just jump out of it? Imagine multiple hands holding you back so that you can't jump. What would hands be doing in a pit? I do not speak of real, literal hands. Hmm. Are you sure there are hands in there? How do they move? Uh... There are many useful items in abandoned places like this. Blankets, firewood, stuff like that. Isn't that stealing? No, since they don't have an owner. But they might come back. That won't happen, Marion. How do you know? Let me put it this way. If they're covered in dust or cobwebs... You must kill a rapture the moment you lay eyes on it. Why do we have to kill it? If you don't, it will kill you. Why would it kill us? Because raptures are bad guys. Why are raptures bad? They just are. Why? There is no why. They just are. When venturing off into the unknown, one state of mind is paramount. If you control your mind, there is nothing to fear in this world. How do you control your mind? I drink alcohol. Huh? If you drink alcohol, everything in the world becomes perfectly peaceful. Sounds nice. I'd like a drink. Oh, really? Hey, wait a minute. When you explore a village, you might find things like books. They're big and heavy and not easy to carry around, but... If you take the time to read them, the way you look at the world might change. What is this book? <sighs> Blinding Passion, Volume 1? What's a masterpiece doing in a place like this? Will my perspective on the world change if I read this? You bet it will! This won't just give you a new perspective, it'll open up a whole new world for you! Wow! Can I read it? Do you really want to? Uh, okay. Let me show you. Remember this. Eat when you can. Don't be picky. Eat whatever you can find. How do I distinguish what I can eat? It's simple. Just try eating it. Is this something I can eat? <sighs> I've never tried it. Should we? Sure, let's give it a shot. It's good to be adventurous and try new things. Okay. Please don't. Do that. Scarlet? Yes? Can I have more <gasps> alcohol? Huh. You seem to be drinking a lot lately. My mind's too loud! I want it to be quiet! Give me some more, please! Fine. One more glass. Lovely. Snow White? What is it? I tried making rice balls with sawdust and centipedes earlier. And I have to say, I think they're my masterpiece. <sighs> I put some in your backpack so you can have some whenever you're hungry. Um... Thank you. Rapunzel? Yes? Don't you think the fire... looks a bit like a man playing with his... Oh my! It, 
You're right! It absolutely does! Why didn't I think of that? Huh... I have a feeling things are not going the way I thought. Bring me some alcohol! Rapunzel, hold her! Got it! you do that in one shot? You're amazing! I want booze! Marion, sit down. No! I refuse! <sighs> Why are you wearing your underwear on the outside again? You're supposed to wear your underwear under your clothing. It doesn't affect my movement, so what does it matter? Hmm. Come to think of it, you're right. I can't refute that. Oh, for goodness sake, try and think of something. I give it a try. Hmm. Guess not. Firepower! Firepower! Hmm. <laughs> 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 I can't believe... What kind of monster have we created? so good either. Commander, I'm sick. She hasn't sobered up just yet. <laughs> Frankly, it's amazing that she's even mobile. Rapture detected. A rather formidable one at that. Which formation should we use? I'll go first. Pray tell, why is she in such a hurry? We should go too. Let's. Prepare to meet your maker. My orders are simple. Kill every last rapture you see. Seven dwarves, ready. Encounter. Get hurt. Thou rushed in most impetuously, but you seem to be having a hard time. No, I'll show them. You say that, but it looks to me that you sustained some bodily injuries. Can't you fix it? Of course. Rapunzel, back us up. Snow White, come with me. Let's go. Focus. Oh, oh. Be 
behold my ultimate blade. Seven to the Garden of Shangri-La! No pain or despair! Those are no quarter. The hour of retribution draws near. Quite the challenge. It has been quite some time since we encountered them, and then they came out of nowhere. Do you think there's a reason for that? Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. This is where you come in, Snow White. We'll leave it to you. All right. Marion, Scarlet, and I are going to head our own way from here. Thou dost resemble a member of the Walking Dead. Are you okay with this, Snow White? I'm fine with it. Shouldn't we all stick together? When Marion comes to her senses, she's likely to throw a fit. No. We have things to do. It's not efficient for all of us to move together. We all have our own tasks to take care of at this point. Furthermore, it wouldn't be smart for all of us to know where Marion will be hiding. Yes, it would be dangerous if our brains were scanned. I have a rough idea of where she'll be going, though. Okay, I'll leave the rest in your capable hands, Snow White. Yeah. See you around, Marion. Uh, 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 my head hurts. Carry me, Commander. <sighs> Let's go. All right. Morons! You said you would be here in a week. It's been two whole weeks! I had to throw away all the food I made. I've been keeping watch constantly to see when you were coming. 
now you show up all of a sudden without telling me? What do you expect me to do? Something came up. Oh, I can imagine. I expect a proper explanation for all of this. Uh, too loud. My head. Who are you to call me loud? I've got a right to be loud when I'm this angry. Uh, is this the child? Yes. Huh. Come in. Her Highness is waiting. Wait. My stomach doesn't feel good. What's wrong with you? What happened on the way here? A whole lot. Hurry up and get inside. I don't have much, but I've at least got some basic medicine. Something wrong? I've got a killer migraine, that's what. Are you sure you're not faking? You didn't experience any physical trauma. Sure, but what about mental trauma? Anyway, I gave her some herbs that are good for hangovers. She's conked out now. Thank you. So, tell me how it went. There were some small issues along the way, but nothing major. Except for one thing. That was rather strange. What is it? There hasn't been a single rapture attack. Isn't that because of Rapunzel's hair? Rapunzel's hair isn't foolproof. It simply lowers the probability of an encounter. It's been two whole weeks, and we haven't encountered a single rapture. Do you think it's somehow related to that girl? Maybe. No. Definitely. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. What about Crown? On the way here. Hello, Snow White. It's been a while. I hope you've been in good health. Huh? Hey, you ingrate! Her Highness is talking to you! All right, all right. So the girl is sleeping? It must have been a difficult trip for her. I appreciate you doing this. Hmm. I sense a vibration. I mean, I'm hungry, but my stomach doesn't growl that much. Inbound raptures? Yes, a large one. Pirate class. <laughs> We're amongst friends, Your Highness. Using our secret code names for the raptures might prove to be a slight headache for our new arrival. I believe we can safely refer to them as Tyrant Class. Oh, uh, very well. My apologies. Caution is simply in a queen's nature. At any rate, a Tyrant Class rapture is headed our way. It must have followed us. Let me deal with it. I'll take care of it as I'm leaving. Let us help you. No, you take care of Marion. Things might get chaotic when she wakes up. I'll leave her to you. Do you have any messages for her? Tell her I'll be back for her. And to take care of herself in the meantime. All right. Don't worry. We'll take care of her. I know you will. Are you leaving straight away? Yes. Are you serious? First you take forever and a day to get here, and then you leave almost immediately? Next time, I'll know better than to prepare anything when you say you'll be coming. At least prepare me a meal. <sighs> Take this. What is this? If any black light starts emanating from Marion's body, use these. They contain trace amounts of Vapaus and will put any nanomachines out of commission. It will prevent her from transforming. Noted. I'm off. 
Be careful. Ugh, no social skills whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Well then, shall we roll out the red carpet for our new citizen? Yes, Your Highness. You didn't eat anything again. Nikkei's may not have to eat in order to survive, but it can be a real boost for your mental health to do so. <sighs> Say something. If you just sit there and give us the silent treatment, there's nothing we can do to help you. <sighs> Fine, I'll wait. I'll leave this here. Make sure you eat it. She hasn't eaten anything or said a word for three days. Yes, it must be hard for her to accept. I'm sure being ousted from the Ark was traumatic for her, but thankfully she's got some friends in the Goddess Squad. Be that as it may, the fact still stands that when she woke up, everyone was gone. I'm sure she thinks she's been abandoned. It's a tragic state of affairs, but time will solve it. For the moment, our hands are tied. All we can do is wait for her to... She even dares not to see the Queen when she pays her a visit. I won't stand for it. Huh? Chime, starting from today, I don't want you paying Marion any more visits. I will do it. What's your plan, Your Highness? I shall treat her with the dignity that a Queen is capable of. Huh. I would advise against that. You mustn't stoop so low as to appease her. I said I would do it, and so I will. Oh, okay. It is necessary. What are you doing here? I'm observing one of my subjects. What are you talking about? The moment you entered my kingdom, you became one of its citizens. <sighs> I irritate you, don't I? Not at all. Why not? I know other people feel that way. The Commander, and the others, they all hate me. I'm useless. All I do is drag people down. In your current state, it is true that you're of no help to anyone. <laughs> but I will protect you nonetheless. You don't know me. You're only doing that because you were ordered to. It is a Queen's duty to protect her subjects. And so that is precisely what I will do. 
<sighs> Fine. Since I'm not helpful in any way, I'll leave. Where will you go? I... Where... <sighs> I'm going to see the commander. I'm going to the Ark. Good. Let's go. I'll take you there. The way there is fraught with peril, and so I will protect you. You will? Did you get all that chime? Yes, your highness. And Trom? On the way. What is that? Go. be going at a snail's pace with three riders. Still, at our current speed, we should be there in four days or so. Arrive where? Where else? The Ark. Huh? Uh, are we really going to the Ark? Isn't that where you said you wanted to go? A queen is duty-bound to protect her subjects, and so we're accompanying you. Dangerous. What is? Everything! Not only will this put both of you in danger, but it'll also put the commander in harm's way. That is true. But I will protect you all the same. Mm. Hmm. Let's go back. Why? We've already made it this far. Go back. I'm sorry. Um... Your Highness? Trom, stop. Let's go back to the kingdom. <sighs> what are you thinking? Sorry. I guess there was no other way. Everyone knew except for me. To be honest, I knew too. It's just that... It was all so sad. It felt like I was abandoned and all alone. You're not alone. You have me. Don't forget about me. Don't you worry, Chime. I could never forget you. Hmm. <sighs> You came here not of your own volition, brought by others, and yet you have formed such a strong bond with the Queen. As part of this kingdom, you are one of its subjects. And with that divine right comes certain responsibilities. Like what? You may do whatever you wish. And the Queen will provide unequivocal protection. No matter what? Yes. But you must consider carefully whether what you are doing is what you truly desire. So great is the Queen's nobility and so majestic her power that she can make any of your wishes reality. Asking for the Queen's protection is not something that should be taken lightly. So you must think very hard before you act. Hmm. Should you have a wish that you want to fulfill no matter the cost, then you may speak with the Queen. She will lend you her aid and your wish will come true. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. I think I understand. Miss... Call me Chime. Chime. What is your wish? It already came true. What was it? Hmm... I wished for a queen. 
Then what is the wish of the queen? To protect her subjects, that is all. My personal desires are of no importance. A queen exists because of and for her subjects. Hmm. What a hard way to live. Times must I tell you not to put those disgusting maggots on the table? Maggots are super nutritious. They're way healthier than any processed or canned food, that's for sure. What does that matter, you dolt? We're Nikkei's. Why don't you quit hitting the bottle before talking about nutrition? Alcohol is the perfect cure for an ailing mind. That sounds just like something a drunk would say. Your Highness, must I endure such unwarranted criticism? This woman has made my mealtimes a living hell. Marion put a lot of thought into this meal. Be thankful and eat. Not you too, Your Highness. How can you be so cruel? <laughs> Thanks, Crown. Don't forget to finish yours. Nah, uh, I'm a bit... Actually, while we're on the subject of health, I noticed that you've seemed a bit tired these days, so I brewed some snake wine for you, Crown. Hmm. Such insolence! How dare you say Her Highness's name as if she was your friend! It's fine. It's nice being treated as an equal. <laughs> you are most merciful, Crown. As any queen should be. Wait right here. I'll go get the snake wine. Hmm. Um... Your Highness, don't you think Marion changed a bit after that day? It must be the adolescence kicking in. During adolescence, people tend to change every day. You mean to say that she's growing, right? Um... Yes, that's exactly what I meant. She is growing up well. I don't think this can explain. Uh, are you okay, Your Highness? I haven't been feeling well for the past few days. What? This won't do. You must rest at once. I'll prepare a separate meal for you. If you would. Thank you. Hmm. Huh? Where's Crown? She isn't feeling well, so she's resting. Yeah, she hasn't been looking all that great for a few days now. Has something like this happened before? She has a difficult time whenever there's a high concentration of Alva particles. Is she sensitive to Alva particles? Yes, but I can't tell you any more than that. Oh, what a letdown. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Mm. By the way, have you received any word from Snow White? Nothing yet. Um, are you still upset that she left without saying goodbye? Not at all. They're busy people, and they have lots of important things to do. Despite all that, they still brought me all the way out here, so I'm very grateful to them. It's just... I miss them. Now that I realize what they did for me... Hmm... I'm curious what they think of you now as well. Would you like to join me for a glass of snake wine? I found a classic movie. It's called My Frisky Stepsister Part 3. We can watch that while having a few drinks. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Marion? 
What are you doing at this hour? Do you need to use the bathroom? Wait just a sec. I'll go with you. No, it's okay. I'm just having a hard time falling asleep. I was going to take a short walk outside for a few minutes. Uh, at this hour? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm, just be careful and don't venture outside the kingdom. I won't. Good night. By the way... Uh, yes? How's Crown? Uh, still unwell. This time it's lasting longer than I thought. I see. I hope she gets better soon. Don't worry, her highness is strong. I know. I'll be back. Alright. Take care. Three Tyrant Class Raptures! Is the kingdom what they're after? The castle walls are slowly losing their ability to conceal this place. So more and more raptures have been coming. <sighs> if they breach the walls, Crown and Chime won't be able to stop them. Crown is sick now, and Chime is not a combat Nike. <sighs> I have to stop them. Have at you! I've got your back! I can't allow you to come inside the kingdom! I have to stop you here! down and it's not over yet
one! I can do this! supposed to be the one protecting you, not the other way around. I thought you were sick. I can overcome anything if my subjects need protection. I'm that important to you? Of course, and I hope you hold me in equally high esteem. <sighs> you idiot! You should have told us something! You even lied to my face! <laughs> You're laughing? You think this is funny? It's not that. When I saw those raptures, I felt this power surge through me. I felt an irrepressible urge to protect the kingdom and all those in it. Did you all feel the same way? Of course. That is precisely what it means to protect someone you care about. <sighs> right. I see. I understand now. If you protect me, and I protect you, there's no limit to how strong all of us can become. No one has to get hurt. It's so simple. I can't believe it took me so long to see it. The more things you share with someone, the greater your resolve becomes. Huh? Your Highness! No, this isn't what you think it is. <sighs> Marion, your body. Commander, Rappi, Anise, Neon, Snow White, Scarlet, Rapunzel, Crown and Chime. Protect me, and I will do the same. 
I promise you. I'll protect all of you. Your Highness. We've got a big problem. What is it, Chime? While I was surveying the surroundings with a telescope, I saw a massive explosion. Big enough to be seen from a distance. It came from the direction of the Ark. <gasps> hmm. I think something's happened there. Make preparations to leave. Are you planning on going there yourself? Yes, I have to. Understood. I'll accompany you. Marion. I'll wait here. I want to go with you, but that might only make things more dangerous. Thank you for understanding. Are you gonna be okay here on your own? <laughs> of course. All right. Do you have anything you want to say to him? Hmm? You mean the commander? Yes. Why would... I have a feeling I might meet him. When I listen to your stories, it seems like he's usually involved in most major events. Hmm. If you see the commander, just... tell him I'm doing well. Okay. Let's go, Chime. Yes, your highness. Commander, will we ever meet again? <laughs>